Hey guys, Ben here with another C++ tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something new and exciting. We're going to be getting user input and we're going to use it in a little mini text adventure thing. Uh, we're going to learn about how uh, if statements work and we're going to kind of put this all together and, and make something cool. So the first thing we want to do is decide what variables we're going to have. So let's have our text adventure ask the user for his name and then how old he is and we'll use those two variables. So what do we need for his name? That is a string, right? String because it has arbitrary size and it's made of letters. So we're going to say string player name. And then we need another variable. Remember, we don't have to initialize it to anything if we don't want to. As long as we fill it with something before we see out it to the screen or use it in math or anything like that, it'll be fine. So we also need an age variable, and that's an integer. Int age because we can count our age on our fingers. Okay, so now what we want to do is get the player name and the age from the user. So first let's ask what his name is. See out, what is your name, Sir Knight? And we'll do a new line. So this is going to ask him what his name is. Now we need to actually give the name to the program. And the way we do that is basically just the exact opposite of the see out statement. It's the see in statement, which stands for input. This is the standard input stream. So we're gonna say see in, and then the only difference here is you switch these around to go the opposite direction. So instead of it's like you're taking your string and putting it into the see out statement, we're taking our see in input and putting it into a variable. So we do player name. And what's going to happen is when we get to this see out see in statement, the program is going to pause and wait for us to type something in and press enter. So let's let's greet him. Hello, sir. And then we'll say player name. So this should output his name. All right, let's see if that works. What is your name, Sir Knight? Beavis. Hello, Sir Beavis. It totally worked. So this is the first input we've ever done, and now we're already on our way to a text adventure. Now let's ask for the age as well. See out, how old are you? Question mark. New line. See in. Just like we did before, we're going to just put our variable. We can see into a string, an int, a float, any kind of variable pretty much we can, we can do a see in statement for. So we're going to say see in age, see out, you are, and then we'll say age, years, old. There we go. I have trouble typing and talking at the same time. All right, let's go ahead and run that and see if it works. Your name, meh. Hello, Sir Matt. How old are you? Nine. You are nine years old. Press any key to continue. And I forgot the new line there at the end. So there we go. We've got our input. Now let's do something interesting with it. It's not that fun to just repeat everything we say right back to us. That's just not fun at all. Instead, what we need to do is use logic. We need to process this stuff and do something interesting. So it's going to be a little hard to process a string. So let's go ahead and process the age. What we should do is let's start by saying if your age is over 100, okay, then you are too old to play this game. So what we need to do is say if your age is greater than 100. So we literally use something called an if statement. When we want to know if something, we type if. And then we do parentheses, and inside these parentheses, we evaluate something. The thing we put in here is called a Boolean expression. So we're going to go ahead and type age is greater than 100. And just like in math class or anything like that, you can use the greater than sign, you can use the less than sign, you can use the greater than or equal to sign, the less than or equal to sign. If I wanted to say, for instance, if you type in a 100 or greater, then you're too old, we'll use the greater than or equal to sign. So let's go ahead and use that. So basically what happens with a Boolean expression is when your computer is evaluating this, it looks at this and it replaces it with either true or false based on what the statement evaluates to. So if we type in a 50, is 50 greater than or equal to 100? If not, this will be a false. And anytime you have a false in here, then whatever's in the body, which you indicate by having these curly braces, whatever's in the body will not get evaluated. However, if this is a true, it will get evaluated. So if we type in a 101, 101 is greater than 100, so this will be true and something's going to happen in here. So let's see out. You are way too old, man. Let's see if that works. So let's try typing in a 101, and we should get... We'll type in 100, actually. Your your name, Kitten? 
Hello, Sir Kitten, how old are you? 100. You are way too old, man. See that? It worked. This is how you actually process things. Knowing just these things right here, you can already make yourself a simple text adventure. It would be tough because you don't really know enough to make a good game. You don't really know enough to, to manage your code very well. But this tool right here, this if statement, is extremely, extremely powerful. Boolean expressions are used in tons of things, in loops, all sorts of things. Use boolean expressions and there's other cool things we can do with boolean expressions which i will show you later but first i want to show you some of the other operators that you can use in boolean expressions what if we want to say if age is equal to something so for instance if age is equal to 69 we're going to see out haha -ha. so how do we do equal to well we don't type this because this is the assignment operator for instance if we said int age up here equals five that would take five and put it in the variable age. That's not what we want. There's actually a different uh, operator that's the comparison operator. And you just add, you just slap another equal sign on there, and now it's a comparison. So now this is a Boolean expression. This is not a Boolean expression. This is a Boolean expression. It is going to be kind of hard to remember. If you do this, what's going to happen is it's going to take 69 and put it in age. And I think this will probably always evaluate to true or something, and it's, it's just not going to work out. So always remember to use the equals equals sign. If you want it to be not equal to, then you type, instead of equals equals, you type exclamation point equals. This exclamation point is the not operator, and it's not only used in not equals. Not less than doesn't work. However, if you wanted to say not less than, you could put not in front of a Boolean expression like this. So it's going to take whatever's in here and reverse it. Now this is obviously the same as just greater than or equals to 69, but you know, there's always several ways to do logical operations. We could say not less than, or we could say greater than or equal to. Those statements are, are actually equivalent. So let's see if this works. This is a bit of a mind bender because we're chaining together Boolean expressions here, but what's going to happen if we type in 50? Well, is 50 less than 69? Yes. So this gets replaced by true because that's a true statement. However, the not statement takes whatever is here and flips it. So instead of true, it's going to be false, right? So let's see if that works. Let's type in a 50, and we should not see ha ha because the statement here is going to be false. Let's see if that is the way it is. Jay, how old are you? 50. We did not see a ha ha because of the not operator. So I think that's about all I want to show you. This is, this is good enough for now. We're going to learn a little bit more about if statements and things like that in the future. So we're going to be making our first game actually very, very soon. It's going to be a little combat simulation. And you guys are really going to have fun with it. Stay tuned next time and we're going to go over some really cool stuff.